Welcome to Monte Carlo, playground of the rich and famous. Where better to host an exclusive cash game? We're taking poker back to its roots. Cash on the table, prop bets allowed, trash talk encouraged. With well-established pros, a Hollywood star, plus a qualifier who stakes to play in the game. That player has the opportunity to win tens of thousands of euros, and it's a total free roll. The challenge is on. Here in Monte Carlo, we've assembled an all-star lineup for the PokerStars Championship Cash Challenge with some of the biggest and loudest personalities in the game. Let me tell you guys something. I am a movie star. Taking on this band of superstars is our challenger, Mila Monroe from Germany. She's being staked to play in this game and gets to keep any profit she makes. Hi, I'm here with Mila, our challenger for the day. How are you feeling? I feel really good. A little bit nervous because the big show is now coming, but I have a good profession, so I feel really great. Is there any particular player that you'll be playing against that maybe you feel a little intimidated by or that you're just excited to play against? Um, yeah, I'm really excited to play against Kevin Hart because he's the only player who maybe cannot play poker, so maybe I have a chance to bluff him. I don't wait. I am a movie star. My name is uh, Kevin Hart. The, the Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, he's got game, he's got all kinds of moves. Cause he doesn't come to lose, you know, he's coming to win. He's a very competitive guy. Kevin's obviously Kevin. He's just gonna say whatever comes to his head. I consider myself, what's that, what's it called? Uh, the That's what it's called. You wanna go cash? I'm gonna whoop your ass. I tend not to speak too confidently about my game publicly, but I am extremely confident that I will be making quite a lot in this game. What? Because, because what? Because you won a couple tournaments? I'm a pro too. I got people to play my house game that can testify to that. For me, I think playing for cash is actually a lot less pressure because if I lose the cash, I'll just put more on the table. <laughs> and I've played some really high stakes poker against some of the great players in the world. Daniel, he's someone who's extremely strong on the reads. He soul reads you. He'll just like stare into your brain. So Liv Reese, super intelligent, uh, thinks about the game at a very high level. Yeah, I don't know too much about like Liv's cash game ability. I know that she's a prolific tournament player. I haven't played cash on TV in a long time, so fingers crossed I play well, make some money, don't make a fool of myself. For us, Jaka, I've got a lot of history with. He's a very, very tricky player. I think I've generally come out uh, more on top for Daniel, so uh, let's plan for that streak to continue. People come up with like, this is the way you play him, and for us it's like, <laughs> nope, I'm gonna do it like that. He's definitely capable of pulling some ridiculous moves. Being aggressive in a cash game, in general, it's a little harder than they can just call you and buy back in, but I, I think I would have an edge in this lineup. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss my ass. But like nicely, not in a mean way, because I'm a nice guy. Okay, one more uh, just for just for safety. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Nice. Thank you. That'll be a good one. I want a copy of that. Yeah, you should send yes. me that. Yeah, I sent you. Tweet it or yeah, Facebook. Tweet it. Almost time to get the game started. Samila is in seat one with the 12 and a half grand that she's been staked, and Daniel is on her direct left. Well, Charlie and Faraz both have position on Kevin Hart, which they'll probably be rather happy about. Three players have bought in for the table maximum, 25K, but everyone has the option of topping up or reloading at the end of every hand. So we're gonna be playing a total of 150 hands. The action is pot limit pre-flop and no limit after the flop. Blind, 25 euros, 50 euros with a 10 euro ante. 
James, I am so excited to have Cash Game Poker back on TV. <laughs> so what are we doing? So are we playing the seven deuce or no? I vote yeah. I'm not. Let's Let, just play let's poker. Let's see how it's going. All right. The, fu the fun police is here. We'll, we'll give it. <laughs> we'll wait until Daniel busts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pull over. Pull over. <laughs> you guys are having way too much fun. Pull over. We are underway. It's James Hartigan alongside Joe Stapleton. Hello, my babies. Livebury, first to act. Junk. That's a fold. Kevin? Also has junk. Forget it. You gotta look now and then, then you gotta open. Open means raise. And that's what he does. Nope. Faraz is out. Action is on our challenger, Mila. She's got pocket tens. No time to settle in, Mila. Let's go. Intensity in tens city. It's a call. Okay. And Daniel is in from the big blind with queen nine of clubs. Daniel's flopped a flush draw. Mila is still ahead. Okay, seems like 50 bucks is the standard, right? 50. That's what I'm doing. 50. I'm really betting 50. I've been oh, learning that's some actually stuff. a bet? That's yes, like I've been watching these I guys think. online and they do some underbetting occasionally. That's what I'm trying. Right here. Seems the, like the, the spot. Dunk. Led right into him for 50 bucks. Can't even call. Watch. He's got nothing. Look, he's gonna fold for 50. <laughs> this is the thing. This is the future. I'm <laughs> telling you. 50 Ooh, bucks is plenty. Person. I know what I'm, oh, you, are you have a good hand? Don't, Go ahead. Don't, don't say anything, guys. I have guys. a good hand. Just let him keep yeah. believing. <laughs> <laughs> 50 bucks, it works, it got you out. Yeah, well, well played, man. <laughs> <laughs> Next level, I'm learning. Yeah, it's gonna work, watch this. So I'm, I'm a little bit, I, I wanna do it uh, tight in the beginning, yes. so okay. I just put my hand away. Smart, smart. This is, I'm just gonna do this all day. 50 bucks, that's all you need to do is 50. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Oh my goodness, 50 bucks. It really works, huh? Here's my question. If if I destroy this game, yes. which which nine times out of ten is what's gonna happen, uh, do I get to say it's like I'm a pro? Am I like a pro? Uh, if you beat this game, if I not beat, if I destroy it, destroy it. You get to only, only it you get all you gotta do is give up. All you gotta do is give up the paychecks from the acting and all exactly. the other stuff, yeah. and then you're <laughs> like a pro. We said it's one is one straddle, right? So I can straddle. You can yep. straddle. I can straddle here. James. What is straddle? As you know, Joe, it's an extra blind, like an even bigger big blind. The minimum bet's now 100 instead of 50, and the player who straddled gets to act last before the flop. Cool. Dag on right, I straddle. We uh, get it. You have lots of money, Kevin. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> You're that guy, What are you, you talking about? I just, <laughs> just take the wheels off this game. <laughs> I gotta loosen it up. Let me get y'all drinking in a minute. Yes, please. Behave. So Charlie's raised with 10-9. Faraz calls with ace-9. I have to call. Mila's out. Queens for Daniel. I'm gonna do a little bit of math here. Do it. I'm gonna do some math. There's three, three and three. That's nine. That's 10. 10, 75, 11, something. Whatever that one I just said, just raise it all to pot. Pot. I, I, I did all, put them all. 14, I'm gonna do that, 14, 10. Remember, we're pot limit before the flop. You can only raise as much as what's in the middle. You won these days, huh, Daniel? I'm having 50 or all of it. I'm learning. You got to overbet or underbet. He, he, he watched like 20 minutes of online poker. Now I got to figure it out. That's what he's taken from him. That's it. You either bet a lot, or you bet almost nothing. Well, look, it's going to work. And again. He's, he's suddenly ahead of the curve again. <laughs> it's that simple. 14. All right. Pretty loose call by Kevin, but in a cash game, you can pretty much do whatever you want. No gamble, no future. There you go. You're going to bust everybody. One hand. Boom. Uh oh. We get to see a flop. Yes, we do, with more than four and a half grand in the middle. Daniel's still ahead. Oh! Okay, what's most bet now? I don't even know. Uh, I don't know, what? What is right? So, 22? Doing math. Do, okay, I'll... <laughs> why are you doing math? Daniel, why are you... 22. Right? 22. There's so much math that goes into I'm trying to figure it out. There's so much math that goes into Daniel's. Just everything is based off of numbers. Oh, yeah. That's me. Number in the ground. 22. 22 is the bet. $100. He's chomping at the bit. You know, when I first watched the big game, watching Daniel being like, I'm a bit of a math guy. I believed it. I really did. A math guy? Like, yeah. A math guy, you probably said. I never said that. You did. For sure you said that. I'm a numbers nerd. I always have been. 
painful. I was there in the big game. Daniel called himself a numbers geek. He loves statistics. I'm impressed you remember a show you worked on seven years ago. You always remember your first. So Daniel off to a good start as we move on to the next hand. Nope. Action folded to Mila with seven deuce off. My turn. I open pot. Ha! Huh? Pot. Yes. 235. Okay, how much money? I want to stop on the phone. Okay, I'll get out of your way. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Good luck. Um, you guys all want um, to, you think today's, uh, is today's a uh, good day for us to... Uh, oh, hello. To, um, how much does she make it? 235. 235? Mila attempting some razzle-dazzle, but her timing is badzle. Tree fitty. Ooh, ooh. How much? 450. So I have to tell you something, okay? What is that? I just tried to make a move. <laughs> you, want you, oh. you want us to see him? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, he wanted, she wanted to show them. Too late. It's in a month. Uh, you know, we'll don't find cheat. Out. We don't <laughs> cheat. We'll, find out. We'll, find out. <laughs> we'll, take, we'll take your word for it. <laughs> You're making a move, huh? You, sh you should have played with him anyway. You see what comes. It was seven deuce. Oh, uh, oh you had this. <laughs> she was playing the seven deuce game. <laughs> Almost made it. <laughs> yeah. I, somebody said me I should do that, so I did that. Now I can make the yeah. thing bucket list. What, what kind of coach have you been getting? <laughs> Felix Schneiders. Oh, really? Yeah, really. So how did he coach you? He coached you to raise with Do7? Yeah, Maybe. It's what, it's, what the, it's what the Twitch chat loves. You know? yeah. <laughs> Felix is a German pro and a very popular poker streamer. If you'd like to play against Felix yourself, you'll find him at the cash tables at PokerStars.com. Here in Monte Carlo, Mila Monroe has taken up the PokerStars Championship Cash Challenge. First, she approached the game with caution. I want to do it uh, tight in the beginning, yes. so I just put my hand away. Smart, smart. Then she unleashed the aggression. I open pot. I just tried to make a move. I want to show you. you wanna... Oh, you had the. She was playing the seven deuce game. <laughs> Remember, any profit our challenger makes at the table, she gets to take home. I met Mila at a party in Malta. She said she was going to get a drink and be right back. Still waiting. So this is hand nine of 150. Money, mandatory strata for me. Anytime. It's mandatory. It's too late now. God. It's fine. Let him go. It's fine. Can he I do it? We're okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. okay. My judgment's off. Okay. I've been drinking. He's not going to raise anyway. It's five. So Charlie has raised with a six of hearts. How much is it? 350. 350, I call. Go get him. Come yes. on. Let's get him. Nobody's rooting for you. Literally nobody. I Maybe guarantee you. at least three people watching this will be rooting for I me. I don't know. Guys. I don't know that that's true. <laughs> Your parents? No, um, uh, no they're probably no. not on my team. They'll call you. <laughs> Some people I owe money, maybe then. <laughs> three players going to the flop. Straight draw for Mila. I checked at a razor. I check, 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 check. <laughs> 700. Got call. Oh. Ooh. Oh. oh. What's that for? That type of huh? poker we talked about earlier. <laughs> My first hand. Ooh. Come on, let's get him. Poker, poker pawn. I'm only, you know what? Oh, I'm only folding this hand. Why? Simply because. Why? Because you call. Okay, so. Mm, okay. That's the only reason why. You don't get that opportunity again. No more nice guy. Nice guy's gone. Okay, I lost bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> she likes bad boys. There you go. Heads up to the turn, which is a queen. That's the straight for Mila. Oh. And Charlie's got hearts now, so he's going to keep betting. Just because you take longer to get your chips, it doesn't make it five, more dramatic. <laughs> it doesn't make it. It feels pretty dramatic. dramatic. I call. Get in. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> Get in. Meal is still good. 3,000. What? 
<laughs> what? Really? Three thousand. Did you get a phone a friend over here? She doesn't need it. Is there a lifeline? This is race, right? Race. He bet three thousand. Yes, um, twelve thousand. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, twelve thousand. Eat it. Yeah! <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, I feel like it's just not a good strategy in the long run. Now you should show the seven deuce. <laughs> <laughs> really get him. Charlie tried to bluff her when she had it. Aha. Aha. So I'm finished, I go now. Just 141 hands to go. Wow. Wow. 3,000. What? I never had so much money in front of me. 12,000. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, 12,000, eat it, yeah! <laughs> that was maybe a little bit too much, but yeah. I won the hand, so I'm very happy. For me, uh, when I get money, it's a uh, next step to independence. Four years ago, when I had an accident, I was sitting on a rail of the second floor. It was a little bit wet, so my hand uh, slipped away and I lost the balance. And I don't just fall on the ground, I fall on the rail on the first floor, so I broke my neck and uh, that's the reason why I'm now in the wheelchair. Yeah, I had hard times. I was laying in intensive care. Then I could not breathe. I, I fight for my life, but I knew I want to live. So I fight, fight, fight for years. And um, yeah, the beginning was really hard, but uh, things getting better, so. Before the accident, I thought I'm a strong woman, alpha woman, liked it. But after that accident, I got so much mental strain that um, now I see things much, much clearer and I can enjoy life much, much more. So I want to show the people that in a wheelchair everything is possible and you can live a good life. My goal is to be completely independent. Uh, so my next step is to get a car so I can drive everywhere alone. Uh, with a wheelchair, it's not easy to say, uh, I just buy a car for 10,000 10, euros. You need a, a van, you need a system, and that costs much money. So I take the money and then I buy me a car. We're not really supposed to root for people, but we're kind of rooting for Mila. I was so disappointed when he bet 3,000 and so, so happy when she said all of it. <laughs> I knew, I knew. You knew she had it? Yeah, no, of course. Yeah. What did I, what, what had I? They think you had a straight. No. Yes. No, no, no straight. I don't want to <laughs> Well, <f> <laughs> He's like, oops, oops. <laughs> that was a straight, I didn't see. Is that a straddle there? <laughs> hey. Um, I don't know what to do here. I'm thinking just, I'll just call. I don't know. It's fine. Can't be bad. Can't be awful. <laughs> a lot of money out there. I got position. Uh, I know. I know. Charles is gonna raise. So I'm just gonna call. It's no sense to do anything stupid. What? What? Oh, you talked me into it, man. You got. Oh. You got him ahead. Oh, you're still. You're still pissed. Daniel's flop top pair. I am going to. Check. I'm a politely check. Kevin has an open-ended straight draw. Charlie has a gut shot straight draw. What does he want? 250? 250, yeah. I was gonna bet five if he checked. For sure. I was gonna bet five. So I'm gonna do it anyway. But I was gonna do it. Like if you checked, I was gonna bet five. So I figured I'll just do it anyway. You never know. Uh I call. I call. I call. <laughs> All right. Have action. Uh oh. We got a pot, gentlemen. Big turn coming. Daniel's still ahead. We got what we like to call a pot, gentlemen. <laughs> it looks like a pot. That's a great card. Kevin's got a flush draw now. Um, I'm gonna check. Check. It's my option, I will also check. Oh, we're all trapping. Everybody's trapping. <laughs> Kevin gets there. He has a straight. I check. Now it really is a trap. 1,500. Ooh, the hammer comes down. The hammer comes down. What do I have? 15, 15, yeah. Nothing, right? 600 bits. 1,500. 
Are you doing a thing again? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's definitely my favorite member of One Direction. Three thousand. Oh, he <laughs> gets. <it. laughs> oh, sorry. Get out of my face. Wait. You just keep walking right into him. That was great. Mm -hmm. Walking right into it. No. No. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> what good thing we invited Charlie. Oh, yeah, like, Charlie. Right? My goodness. Charlie's good for the game. Right. Charlie. I like Charlie. everybody up. Sixteen, eighteen. Can I add on five? <laughs> oh, Charlie's got to add. I think I think I'm below twenty. Add chips. Can I add on five k? Add chips. Charlie's got to add chips. Can I add on five as well? Live adding on is a sign of a very good game. Running over this game. Give me some track sneakers. Because right now, I'm running all over this game. <laughs>
Uh, I won't bet too much then. <laughs> you grab him deep. I won't bet. That's, that's way something. too, come that's on, man. I'm not, I, I really have a weak hand. 50 bucks I would've gave you. Can't give you anything. He's folded the best hand. I'm bluff dare you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I didn't have anything! <laughs> you had that kind of capability. It wasn't even right tough. There. It was so easy. That was some high level play. So it seems Kevin Hart has come to play and isn't put off by the highest grossing tournament player of all time. What are my thoughts on Daniel as a poker player? And don't wear this anymore. Daniel's stupid. I'm gonna give the award for biggest mouth at the table to Kevin Hart. Yeah! I'm about to beat Daniel. I might start like a rivalry just to start with. Poker doesn't have that. I've got a little more experience than Kevin Hart at the poker table. Everything I do, I do to dominate on a global level. Losing a poker can be tough especially when Kevin Hart is at the table providing the extra needle. Harry, we got another one. Give me some track sneakers, because right now I'm running all over this game. Even Daniel Negreanu isn't safe from his trash talk. I'm bluff Daniel! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I didn't have anything! <laughs> you definitely seem like you enjoyed the bluffing part of the game. Would you say that you enjoyed it more because it was against Daniel? And Daniel against... sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna go on record and say that. Right. He's so, a fluke. So he, it, that's an accident. It's a fluke. That's an accident. All of he the tournament wins. Found his way here, all of the tournament but... wins are a fluke. He was lucky. Everybody, I just love Daniel. He did. Woo! <laughs> but normally, though, do you get that excited bluffing? It was so easy. It was so easy. Some people bluff. They just go, ah, I bluffed you in the show. No. Not he annoying. Not, yeah. <laughs> Kevin has a lot to be happy about. Right now, he's up 1,600 euros as we move on to hand 19 of 150 on the PokerStars Championship Cash Challenge. I haven't won a pot yet. No. Aww. Have you not? No. Holy sh Yeah. Was, you, you, okay? you gave it a good try. No. You tried super hard. <laughs> I did try. Has she tried super hard? Daniel, I'm in the big blind. OK, I just called, because it's your big blind. Is limping the new racing? Or what? I'm just having fun. Make poker fun again. King Jack for Kevin. <laughs> I'm gonna call. Let's get this on camera. I'm gonna call. Ooh, Queens. He's so tight. What did Ooh. you have? Uh oh. Hey guys. <coughs> Bull. <laughs> 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 what's that called when it's uh what's it called when uh oh bullshit. Ooh. 335. 335 he wants. Okay, give him 335. And we're going four way, of course we are. Oh, well, the one thing I like to do is party. Uh -huh. And it seems like you guys are partying. You love, love it four way? I don't, I don't want to miss a good party. <laughs> Why would I miss a good party? You know, I can definitely say I'm probably coming in with the worst hand. I'm behind. I'm going to go on All record. Right. I don't know, man. I'm going to go on record. You're probably not too far I'm, away. I'm behind, OK? 14.50 in the middle. Ooh, that's oh, a that's 50 flop. Yeah, that definitely, is, that that's 100% a 100 of 50 flop. Yeah. 50 bucks. I, yeah. Let's guys, watch it. Full, full, full. Guys, Boom, gone. I can, I can honestly, that's, $50. I'm not, uh, Here he comes. Uh-oh. So 20,000. <laughs> you don't have to bet that. 30, 20,000 right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything. Looks like everyone's folding. Got all serious. I didn't get serious. I'm just thinking about how. How to get him? How to get yeah. the TV time. If he wants to f him up now or f him up later. Yeah, it's like, do I do it now or do I do it later? So should I go back and analyze the hand now or? I kind of feel the moment has passed. On to the next hand, and Charlie has straddled. Nine, seven of diamonds for Faraz. He raises. So he made it three. Daniel's in. Yep. Liv is out. 
Smith made it three. I can see a flop for three. I'll see a flop for, for 300. I'll see a flop. I'll see that. I got no problem with looking at a flop. So hypothetically, if I were to pot. <laughs> He's going to do the pot thing? Good. No. I hope so too. Only if he does the hair flick first. I really, really do. do. It. Yes, there it is. Yes. It's magnificent. It's like a shampoo commercial. Charlie with another big pair. You know what I'm doing. Yeah, that would be a You were here like a long time ago. Fold call to side. <laughs> Paid. Paid in full. <laughs> Kevin. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't like my placement. So I'm going to fold because of that. Yeah. Smart. Let's not go that head I know, up. Probably not best. that I know anything about position because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be tough for Daniel to outplay Charlie if he doesn't make a hand. Heads up to the flop with three and a half K in the middle. Jack still ahead. Oh baby, that's a fifty dollar flop for sure. Uh -uh. That's more than a grand. How much? Yeah, you almost talked me into it there. Ah, that would have been so much cooler. What, 11? Way more than I wanted to pay. I just wanted to pay 50. I just don't think you're ever folding in this yeah. situation. No. I think there are zero hands that you so, could yeah. possibly fold. Yeah. You got a good read. <laughs> Thanks, man. Turn card. Changes nothing. So I'd keep betting here, but Charlie's a good poker player. So let's see what he'll do. It's weird when you do your thing and he's not even paying attention. Yeah, I, I can, I can okay. figure it out. How much did you bet? Did you bet already? He doesn't bet yet. Oh. He, he wants you to look at it. I was trying to I just explain it to him that it's weird. So. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give him a free card. Free card and clearly free drinks. Daniel does not hit a king. They don't have the pineapple juice. I'll alert the media. <laughs> did he bet yet? No. How much? No, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> oh my god. What's he thinking? Let's see. Three. He doesn't have a three because he raised before the flop. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we must not have met. <laughs> what has he got? Some sort of. You don't have a straight draw. Well, yeah, you could. You could have done some goofy stuff with Jack Nine. Seven thousand. Seven? Let me see. Do I have anything at all? One, two, three, four. There's nothing there, right? <laughs> Race only. She, she, she wants to move in. You, you bet, right? She would move all in, she said, but I'm not going to. <laughs> it would have worked if you did it. Yeah. He would fold, but I don't think he's going to fold against me. No, he would not. That was the safest board for Jack since the one from Titanic that clearly had room for two people on it, Rose. So Charlie gets some back. He's now in the big blind. Faraz has straddled, so the action's on our challenger. No. Not yet. And fold. Mila is out. As are Daniel and Liv. Kevin's on the phone. Which explains the call. Pot. Why is Charlie potting it with 7-3? Why not? But unluckily for him, Faraz has got something decent. Ace-Jack suited. Can't re-raise it, though, just in case Charlie's got it. Look how quiet it is now that Kevin's on the phone. We see you, Kevin. So we're going three-way to the flop. Total calling station. Don't use all your anytime minutes. Faraz the favorite with ace high. And still the favorite, even though Charlie's flopped a straight draw. Is no one going to tell Kevin to get off the phone? Continuation bet from Charlie. Gets a fold from Faraz. That better have been your mother. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Kevin. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm okay. Kevin ahead with Queen High. Check. 32. <laughs> Actually love how Charlie's playing this. You want to see it? You want to see it? You want to see it? No. Yeah, of course you don't. No. You, you don't want the pain. No. Charlie, even yet? Hey. 
Hey, that's mean. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Try not to count. Don't worry, we got your counting right here. Well, good news, Charlie. After winning two pots in a row, you're now up 680 euros. Mila, still the big winner. She's up over five and a half grand. Everyone else, down on the session. As we move on to hand 24. Mila's first to act. She faults. Tight is right. Keep that profit locked up. Take me as I am. $50 limp, and then I'm going to raise if one of you guys raises. Wow. OK? If you raise, I'm going to re-raise. Wow. Go ahead. Oh. Yep. Do it. I'm good for it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> I like a good time. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, I said if it was raised, that's a re-raise. Yeah, yeah. said if one of us raises. Yeah, that's yeah. a little much now, so I've got a really bad hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, How much is it? <laughs> 725. Yeah. That's, a good, that's a good move to get him to not raise. 725. <laughs> 725. Me and my friend. This, I like this. Mm -hmm. I like this. You know what I mean? I wonder why we've, we've played so many pots, just me and you. That seems really coincidental. <laughs> Charlie's going to end up with a piece of Kevin's next movie. Ace Queen against Ace Jack. It's second pair for Charlie, a straight draw for Kevin. Instant call. No, instant. Sorry. Instant. No, you instant. No, 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 I didn't even think about it. That was pretty sick. I didn't even think about it. You didn't need to. No thought. How do you always know that I'm bluffing? No thought. No thought. <laughs> 450 euros a piece. A deuce on the turn. Check. What? <laughs> I did. I, I checked. But you raised. I raised and I bet. And then you then, bet. Now you check. And then you got in my head. Bet your hand. Check. Uh -huh. Bet your hand. <laughs> I can't bet your hand for you. Nine on the river. Charlie's good. Yeah. <laughs> Seen it. Here comes the bet. <laughs> I'm just gonna get snapped yeah. off on it. Snapped off by King Ten. <laughs> I'll check it. No. Just to make sure. If I can guess your hand precisely, you have to fold it. I think honestly, I think you have like pocket eights or something like that. Pocket eights. <laughs> Would I be bluffing? Like, I'm honestly just thinking about calling you with eights high, but I'm thinking it's... it's sometimes, in the sometimes I could be bluffing with eights. Did you, did you raise with something stupid? Because if four dollars bet didn't make sense, I kind of just want to see it. I'm literally just about to Are you race. that rich? Are you that rich that you kind of yeah. just want to see it for 1275? <laughs> he really is that rich. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> He's rich, but nobody likes paying 1,200 euros for something you can see later on TV for free. Well, after an initial wobble, Charlie is now up over 2K. It was a rocky start for Charlie Carroll. Charlie tried to bluff her when she had it. <laughs> uh -huh. But now he's back in the black at the Poker Stars Championship Cash Challenge. And if he wants to avoid another barrage of abuse from the man on his right, he'll need to keep it that way. Sitting next to Kevin is an experience, even though it looks extremely stressful, especially if you're losing. Get out of my face! <laughs> it's actually a particularly pleasant experience. Me and my friend. This, I like this. And it's just a bunch of nerdy kids and a, a comedian sitting back just having a laugh. We've reached hand 30 of 150. Mila, our challenger, is under the gun. Ready in a second. She's got deuces. Fort. That's a bit of a buzz kill, but I can't blame her. 50, right? Yes. Sneaky. He polarized, I'll give you that. Huh? <laughs> I'm polarized. <laughs> I am going to raise it up. Raise it up. <laughs> I'm going to raise it. Raise it! I'm gonna take How it. How high can you go? I'm gonna raise <laughs> it! He can go high. I'm gonna take it. 
I'm going to when, he, when he's playing the tournament, you can just hear him just like over everyone else in a loud room. You just hear just like a soprano above it. Just like above only all like other dogs are howling. Yeah. Yeah. And that's only when I say something like, what's up? <laughs> so it's Daniel versus Kevin. Oh, Mila would have flopped a set of deuces. She's not happy. Check it. I had deuces two times and I didn't see a deuce, and then now the deuce comes. Crazy how that works. So check. Not now, Kevin. Light King on the turn gives Kevin top pair. I could check. Kevin finally has a hand. 50. Yeah, that's my man. <laughs> I'll give him 50. I've seen Daniel tip 50 on the regular. He's not folding for it. Oh, ace on the river. Check. Ah. This is almost exactly the same hand where you bluff me with Jack 10. Daniel shan't be bluffed this time. You're going to try it again. So 100? That ain't enough. I think we got to put more in, man. You want to put more in? I can't say anything else. What is that? You don't have a flush, because there's no way. <laughs> Daniel Negroni, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Make it 500. Oh, God, did he hit his ace? Did he hit his ace? You don't have an ace? Did you, you hit your ace? Oh, God. I'll show you one, OK? Here. I oh, he definitely hit his ace. Yeah, I have ace queen. I have lots of ace queen. I call. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you learned from Daniel. Put him on a hand that beats you and call anyway. I said, definitely hit hey, Who limps with ace queen? And yeah. Calls? Come on. Yeah. You're my hero. <laughs> I'm on tilt. <laughs> Kevin's on tilt on TV and he's on half the billboards in Los Angeles. He is on it all. Daniel has straddled. Action on live. It's gonna be a good one. Good. Kevin just calls with jacks. But And Charlie raises with jack 10. Charlie is really swinging for the fences. If you notice, he's constantly trying to isolate Kevin, kind of like me backstage. What's that, 100? Fuck. Regret. How much does he want now? You regret everything. How much money do you want? <laughs> it's big enough. To you know regret all you Charlie. This hand's really bad. I'm just going to fold. All right, I'm going to make it 7 What? Six. No. Yeah. Go get him. Punish. This is how you make your money back, Charlie. Or not. Can't Over keep folding. 17. Oh, he said yes. <laughs> I got Charlie I'm again. Sorry. Only for you. I got Charlie again. Oh, no, you don't. Charlie flops the joint. Let me make sure it's what I think it is before I accidentally do something stupid. OK. All right, it is. <laughs> I'll check. <laughs> you call a jack-10 hoping to hit the nuts, and it's hard to believe it when you do. 2,000. <laughs> you need the glasses. I mean, I don't think there's a, any reason for me to call her. <gasps> oh, I think that's man. the worst flop that you can possibly ask for. Yeah, for me too. <laughs> I don't think there's even anything <laughs> that I could want to do there. Even if he doesn't have it, I don't really want to pay to see that you don't have it. Do me a favor, uh, put every card out there above the jacks. No, of course, no, of course, no, of course. Good, 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 Do me a favor, on this flop, guys, when I have jacks, throw uh, ace, king, queen out there for me, just so I can feel real confident about where I am in the hand. That's good. Celebrities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like us. Well, Kevin is almost five grand in the hole. Meanwhile, quite a ton of events for Charlie. He's gone from being our biggest loser to over three and a half grand in profit. And Mila is staying out of trouble after her early win. She's up five and a half K. Hand 32. Oh, straddle, straddle. Atta girl, when you're not winning, gamble more. I can't call this. Charlie with ace 10 suited, he's bound to play this. So tell you what, Joe, we're gonna play it from his perspective. We're gonna sweat with Charlie. I'll do it. He's raised to 325. 
Re race. Oh, you're getting some of the Farage treatment. Yeah, I'm getting got. What happened? Now? Sometimes you just get punished. Can't let me get two in a row. Don't want him to have too much confidence. It's been folded. Back around to Charlie. No Russian So, on the one hand, Faraz has been playing pretty snug. On the other hand, Charlie's been pretty active. On the other, other hand, Ace 10 suited can flop the nuts like four different ways. Charlie calls, heads up to the flop with more than 2,300 in the pot. Charlie has flopped top pair and a straight draw. I am all for checking to the razor. Check. Any C bet from for us? Be pretty weird if he didn't. 1,100. 1,100 euros. I think there's nothing we can really do here but call. Hope we have the best hand. Maybe improve to a straight. Charlie does call. Good. Turn card. Is the six of hearts. Puts a second flush draw out there. For us, bets again, 2,800. Same thing, different street. Charlie calls. We're going to the river with more than 10 grand in the pot. The river is the seven of spades. That puts a potential flush out there. And we've still got no choice but to check, see what Faraz does, and reevaluate. There's the check. Go, man. Not the best hand. Faraz moves all in. 7,705 euros. Other than when he got dressed today, Faraz hasn't gotten out of line all day. So if he is bluffing here, I say just let him. Oh, first triangle play. Yeah, they were hoping for an all in and call. I kind of hate to disappoint. You, can, you, you have the control here, Charlie. Yeah. What do you got? Don't let us all down. Got the, old, got the old ace ten of clubs. Mm. Yeah, the classic. It's gonna take a uh, couple of minutes. Couple minutes? Couple of minutes. Charlie, this is a cash <laughs> game. <laughs> Buddy got no time for that. <laughs> Let's see, we gotta see what you got. He has to fly Charlie. out tonight. Like, what is this? Come on, <laughs> do. What's it gonna be, Chucky? Next time on the Cash Challenge, Charlie has to decide. Bluff. Value bet. He is one of the people I actually really struggle to get reads on. It's funny kind of hearing him like go through the process of trying to get a read off me. Spot the value bet. That's, that's good news. Bluff. 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 Will he make the right read? I need to know!